Hello. Have you guys seen the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? You know how those kids were being tested by Willy Wonka? And they didn't know they were being tested? And at the end, they all failed the test except for one of them? Charlie? What if that's sort of like our world? What if this world is some sort of crazy test and there's some sort of Willy Wonka figure that set this all up and he's he maybe maybe this theoretical god let's just say this Willy Wonka god is what if he made it look like this world what if he went out of his way to make it look like this world wasn't a test to make it look like he didn't even exist, right? Because look at the world. It doesn't look like there's a God. Look at all this suffering and, and this horrible crap that's happening. It does not look like there's a God. It looks like anything but, okay? I'm an agnostic. I don't know if there's a God or not. Basically, like all the top atheists, they all admit that they can't disprove God. We don't know. But what if? I always ask, what if? What if some sort of crazy test is going on and we're all being tested and this life is just a crazy test by some Willy Wonka god? Maybe even this god is like slightly sadistic. I mean, he would almost have to be to create this world and to allow all this suffering. But what if? What if it's real? What if God does exist? Man... I would live my life as though maybe this life is a test and you might be judged by a crazy, perfectionist, wrathful God. Because it's possible. Don't you want to prepare for the possibility? Anyone can do that. Atheists can do that. Agnostics can do that. And Christians... Well, Christians, my message for Christians is that they should stop pretending to know that they're saved. If you're a Christian, you don't know that you're saved. Stop saying that. It's getting really old. You obviously don't fear God if you claim to know you're saved. Because how do you know you're saved? You don't. You're just lying to yourself. So you need to start thinking that maybe God is less forgiving than you think. All these Christians putting so much faith in the atonement. What if the atonement was part of this whole test by God? Because God set up the idea that there's some sort of atonement for sins because he wants to bring out your true colors. What if God wants to see if you would slack off because you thought your sins would be forgiven? Christians. It's not smart. You should not. You should live as though there is no forgiveness. Most of you Christians have some sort of idea that God is like the best case scenario God. That's your version of God is like this forgiving, loving, merciful God that's not going to judge you. What about the worst case scenario God? Huh? What about that? What about the idea that God is going to be you do one thing to piss this God off and you are disqualified from the prize of eternal life. One thing and there's no forgiveness. That's the worst case scenario. Why not prepare yourself for that God? That's possible. God is just theoretical. Stop claiming to know all this stuff about God. You don't know. You don't know that the Bible is in, is is speaks for God. You don't know that any holy book speaks for God. All you people with your holy books saying this is the rules and this is how I get saved and you don't know that. That might be all part of the test, the grand illusion the, of the grand architect, whoever made this world we're in, if it was made, assuming there's a creator. I don't know. I'm agnostic. Okay? Agnostic. 
But you always got to ask, what if? What if there's going to be a judgment? What if? Better safe than sorry. That's the message.